Okay guys, welcome back. Now the air flare, totally not a beginner move, but today we're gonna look at the way that actually a beginner can start working and get this move. Uh, because, lucky for you, it can be done in many ways. Now what is a beginner? I don't need someone that started yesterday, but actually you have some basics, you know, or you need some basic at least, but we're not gonna go uh, all out, we're gonna go with the bare minimum. So you need a single windmill like this. You start in this freeze, boom, you need that one. Uh, other than that, all handstand, guys. So, uh, a handstand like this with the legs still down is necessary. And then also some uh, one hand free practice. Mostly from that handstand. So, you're in that angle down handstand, you can do this, right? Push and hold the freeze a little bit. And also practice that on the other side. Uh, if, you pro if you have trouble with one of these parts, you can still follow along, just work at it, right? You need to work as much as you can on basics, always, guys. Uh, other than that, pretty much uh, walk around on your hands a little bit, you know, get control over this movement. So, uh, it's actually only two steps, but in these steps a whole bunch of things happen. So the first thing, we need to change the handstand. So this is my total freeze, which you can already do, because you can do a single windmill. And you're going to do the handstand in a total freeze position. So my right hand is actually facing sideways, it's a little bit under the other one, like this. Okay? So. For the air flare, it's way better if you can enter it from the first hand. So let me show you this. Enter and do this. Practice on all these steps, right? So, it's only two steps. Step one is simply, we're going to transfer all our weight on, in my case, the right arm. Looks like this. Step one, okay? So I'm on my hands and I transfer the weight. That's step one. Step two is we're going to simply step forward with the other arm. I don't do this. See, that's isolating the leg in this case, but normally the arm. But you step with the whole weight forward. That's two. So, angled hands can transfer, step, okay? During step two, you're gonna look at your nut sack. Okay, so it's one, and while you do step two, you look. Now, as a girl, you can't look at your nut sack, it's pretty much impossible. So, get a sex change. No, I'm joking. Just look at your crotch area, look at your legs, it's fine, right? So. Transfer, step and look, and push your arm out. Do not bend the elbow, right? So it looks like this. Transfer, step and look, look, look. Try to see your legs if you can, it's pretty good. So, uh, that's two. So one, step two. Now, here's where your windmill comes in. You enter your handstand and you start swooping your leg like the windmill. And during one, you do this part. And during step two, you do this part. So that means during one, again, the transfer of the weight through the arm, you swoop down. And while you do step two, you swoop up. So it's about timing, right? So swing down, swing like a maniac, time it. Down, up. Right, so you add this to the movement you just did. Down, up, okay? Practice each step many, many times. Believe it or not, we're almost done. <laughs> Now the last part, give a jump. Now when you do one, which is to transfer the weight, all your weight is on that one arm, and give a hard pump. And this pump comes from the elbow and the shoulder. So uh, you need to give a, a pump, right? Give a hard push, similar to a hand pump actually. If you practice hand pump, you'll get the idea, but you need to push hard, you can't push soft. So, let's put everything together, guys. Boom, there's your first little air flare. Now you're gonna tell me, hey, wait a minute, I don't want this air flare. I want my butt five centimeters off the floor and fly over like this, right? Yeah, impossible because you're a beginner, but you can work at this air flare, work on all your basics and improve it to get it lower and looking doper and doper. Mostly pikes and flares. Uh, add rotation to it, isolate the arms, be on one arm, not from the hands and normally. But it's just a way for a beginner to get the first two, three rounds, right? So practice this many times, do two uh, in a row, go to your windmill, work with it, uh, practice it, isolate, like I said, the arms, add power and do to it to give rotation, and boom, you get your first air flare, probably within the first year that you break. Practice it, guys, and I'll see you next time.